this is Vargas XX78 uh, with another collection pick of video. Uh, it's actually been a while since I recorded uh, or I've had a chance to record the uh, pickups from you know the last two months. Uh, the reason for that is because my uh, beautiful baby girl has now been born and uh, yeah I haven't had that much time to actually uh, sit down and watch videos or, or record videos. Uh, but thankfully everything everything came out okay with with my daughter um, and she was born uh, healthy and uh, she's uh, everything's where it should be she has all her little fingers um, uh, so everything's is is great with her and uh, it's just a, a little bit tiring uh, but nothing beats the feeling of, of being a father so that's the reason why I've been a little behind on on uh, recording videos but uh, now um, she's a little bit older uh, we don't have to worry as much we have family visiting so um, you know while they're looking after her I quickly ran away and um, recording these videos because while I haven't been able to actually record videos uh, I have been able to pick up stuff through here and there and since it's been a good two months since the last video I recorded um, I'm gonna record three three videos and, and post them whenever I can uh, um, right now this is going to be random stuff in video games, then I'm going to record uh, comic books because uh, I'm still collecting comic books, um, still reading them, you know, on the way from the comic book store back home and, you know, whenever I get a chance to. And uh, movies, I also picked up movies, so it's going to be three videos, but because it's a number of stuff, uh, I'm going to talk about... Uh, each one of them, so I'm going to split it up into three videos. So this one is going to be random stuff and video games that I picked up. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, monthly Club Nintendo, which is not monthly anymore. Uh, this is actually now whenever they want to release uh, the magazine. Uh, it's supposedly they were going to do uh, a bi-monthly magazine. Where they would focus on a character like they did with uh, Mario, then Bowser, then Donkey Kong, but they they seem to have gone back to their original format where they would uh, talk about video game news and include a poster. Uh, the poster for this one has a poster for Mario Maker, and uh, the other poster is for Splatoon. Uh, they talk about Mar Mario Maker, of course, because this is going to be the game that Nintendo is going to use to celebrate. Uh, the 30th anniversary of Mario, and that game looks really interesting. Uh, you can, it's kind of like little little big planet, where you can design your own levels. Uh, they'll give you all the tools, uh, but you have to play the game to actually earn uh, the most tools. I read, and her uh, through the Club Nintendo podcast and the magazine that you're gonna have to play uh, nine days straight uh, to actually be able to get all the unlockables, at least all the important ones. Uh, if you skip a day, you're going to miss out, so you, you, you have to play uh, nine days straight to unlock everything. And it looks really interesting because you'll be able to create levels for Mar uh, Super Mario Bros. on the NES, uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros. 3, and New Super Mario Bros. So they'll give you all the tools and you can go crazy. If you're creative, you'll be able to you know create super complex and difficult levels. Uh, you'll also be able to download the levels that other people create. So... That game looks interesting. Uh, the release date has caused some, a little bit of controversy because it's going to be released on September 11th. But Nintendo has stated that unfortunately that's the only date that they can release the game that's close to uh, the 30th anniversary. So I'm looking forward to that game. They also talk about Splatoon, which is a, another game that uh, I'm... Unfortunately I can't buy new games as often as I used to. Uh, the games that I have picked up is because I picked up really dirt cheap, but uh, I'm trying to save up and uh, I, I, I hope I can get Splatoon on, on sale or something. Because that game looks really cool and uh, the Club Nintendo uh, podcast that they do uh, each week, they do talk about how they're doing uh, Splatfest and a whole, bun uh, whole bunch of free updates. So it, it, it's getting to the point where it's really, really good and it's, it hasn't gotten to the point where it's hard to actually get into. So, uh, great magazine all in all, the poster's pretty cool, and they do talk about, even though I do wish I would have bookmarked the page, but if you bear with me, 
they do talk about one game in particular that I'm really looking forward to, which of course now that I ah here it is, uh, Fatal Frame. Uh, this is another in, uh, Wii U game that's going to come out that I'm looking forward to, as well as Xenoblade Chronicles X. So the Wii U still has a bunch of life in it. They do mention this in, in the podcast that they don't understand why people say that the Wii U doesn't have any games, when right now uh, the Wii U has the best exclusives uh, of, of all the consoles. Uh, it, it is missing the, I guess, the, the more popular ones like FIFA or Call of Duty, like they mentioned. But honestly, they, they, they are coming out with a bunch of cool games, and uh, the Wii U definitely has a bit more of life into it, so so yeah, I'm really happy uh, I got the Wii U. Uh, next thing, uh, at a Target of all places, uh, I picked up this Wario Amiibo, and I mentioned Target of all places because uh, whenever I've gone to a Target store, they only have the usual suspects. They only have Mario, Peach, Bowser, Luigi, and sometimes Yoshi. Uh, they really don't have anything else. Uh, same goes for Walmart. Actually, Walmart's the worst one. I, 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 every time we go, I, all the times that I've gone, I've only seen uh, one Amiibo in the Amiibo shelf. And if you look online at the Target store, the Wario isn't even available anymore. But I went to that, to that Target and Wario was there. They actually had uh, this one and two more. Uh, just the other two more. The boxes were a little bit more beat up. And uh, they had a couple of Pac-Mans. So, yeah, I saw this guy and I had to pick it up. You know, it's not the Amiibo, it's not on my list of Amiibos that I would have picked up. Uh, he was there and I decided to go for it. Uh, the other wave that's going to come out is going to have the two ones I really want. I haven't been able to pick up Charizard, but I want to get Ganondorf so I can complete my uh, Legend of Zelda Triforce. Since I already have Zelda and Link, so I need Ganondorf to complete the, the Trinity. And uh, I want to get Bowser Jr. because Bowser Jr. is the, well, for uh, Smash Brothers on the Wii U and 3DS, he's become like my main character to use. Uh, I use Bowser Jr. Uh, just something about the character that uh, has won me over and I, that's the one I use the most when before it used to be Mario. Uh, I bought this uh, out in, going out and about, uh, but... Uh, I haven't been able to go with the Comic Con at least for the last three years, so I've, I've missed out on Comic Con. But I went out in the pile and I was able to pick up uh, from 2013 one of the con uh, Comic Con bags uh, featuring the Lego movie. Uh, these Comic Con bags are pretty cool because they're like, like big backpacks. So that was cool. And uh, a friend from work went to Comic Con this year and. Uh, she gave me the flash bag. This is from 2015. So now I only need to track down a Comic Con bag from 2014, and I'll I'll have uh, completed that collection because I I I've been collecting the Comic Con bags since they started giving these out, and uh, again only 13, 14, and 15 were the ones that I've been missing. So now I have a Comic Con bag for 2013. I need 2014, and I have 2015. And uh, I hope that next year, finally, I'll be able to go back to Comic-Con uh, with my wife and hopefully my, my beautiful baby girl. Uh, again, out and about, my wife picked up uh, this Obi-Wan from the Clone Wars. Uh, she, she really liked Star Wars, so we were watching the movies, and uh, she liked Star Wars. She's, she seems to be uh, looking forward to seeing the Episode 7 movie. Uh, I think it's more it's mostly because I'm kind of influencing her that we have we have to go see that movie. Uh, you know, I, I I was thinking of going with my daughter, but everyone says that would be a bad idea. So, so yeah, I I won't take my daughter to Star Wars. I'll probably see it with her when it releases on DVD. But uh, for the meantime, I I really want can't wait till December uh, for the new Star Wars movie. Every little bit of stuff that comes out regarding that movie. Whether it be an image or a video, uh, they released this really cool behind-the-scenes video that they show how they're filming on sets and with puppets and with practical practical effects and that everything uh, new that I see about Star Wars, it doesn't worry me. It, it actually makes me feel uh, how can I put this? It makes me feel secure in the knowledge that it's going to be a good movie. So, so yeah. 
uh, me and the wife went to an expo. It's a small comic book uh, collector's expo that, that they started doing. And uh, I didn't really pick up much. The, the thing I did pick up there was this uh, Pixels poster and a uh, Jurassic World poster. Didn't cost me that expensive, so I picked it up. The only thing is that the I, I try to I try to track down the best shaped post posters, but when the the lady that was selling them was wrapping them up, she butchered them, and now they're a little beaten up. But uh, they have they have a significant damage. But you know I'll, I'll frame I'll still frame them. Hopefully, once I frame them, they won't look so bad because. Uh, I really like Jurassic World. I thought it was it was really cool. It it, it delivered on what it promised. Uh, some of the CG dinosaurs didn't look as cool as they did compared to the original for some reason, but it was still a fun movie. And uh, that last battle with the Indominus Rex, the T Rex, and the Velociraptor was pretty badass. So I'm definitely getting that movie once it releases on DVD. And uh, the other movie is Pixels. We I uh, went to see Pixels with the wife, and uh, I personally enjoyed. It. I know. It's been, it's been getting hammered by critics and everything, and, uh, you know, everyone's been saying that, that Adam Sandler should now retire because that was the worst movie he's ever done. I disagree. Uh, I don't think it's the worst movie he's ever done. He's actually done movies that are worse. Uh, but I liked it. I, I, I can honestly say I enjoyed Pixels. Um, it, I will admit there's a lot of Adam Sandler worship uh, that every, everyone in the movie says, like, oh, Adam Sandler, you're so awesome. Uh, we're not wordy, but besides that, it's still a good movie. I thought it was still a good movie. Uh, mostly because of the video game effects. The, the video game effects I thought were really cool. The actual action scenes I thought were really cool. The Pac-Man scene, uh, the centipede scene, and then the final battle. I enjoyed I I thought it was a good movie, so, so I'll definitely also pick that one up when it releases. Um, also, out and about, uh... I picked up some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's been years since I picked up a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but they had this this pack of cards. Uh, it's like a, a starter deck that's already built up and has f about forty cards between monsters and and uh, magic and trap cards. Uh, it cost me ten pesos, so I picked it up. It's it has Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. I, I don't even play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, and it's been years since I bought a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but it, it was there. It was ten pesos. Uh, I thought, why not? Okay, um, on to video games. Like I said, this is going to be the second group of video games. So I picked up uh, for the N64. I gave the N64 some loving. And I finally picked up a copy of WCW versus NWO World Tour. Uh, these are great wrestling games. Uh, up until the point of WrestleMania 2000, uh, these were the best wrestling games on the 64. Uh, Revenge is actually a better game, but I've been trying to track down either Revenge or World Tour, and now I have a copy. Great, great wrestling game. Uh, the graphics are a little blocky, but uh, the play control and and it's it's just a fun game. So really happy to add that. Uh, picked up. Well, I re-picked up uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Now, uh, the reason why I say I re-picked up is because I already owned a copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. But, unfortunately, it was during a time where I, I needed money, so I was getting rid of the N64 games that I didn't enjoy as much. So, I, I sold uh, my copy, my boxed copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Because uh, I needed money, and uh, I do regret ever since selling, because I also got rid of NBA Courtside. So, ever since... Recently, I've been trying to re get those games, so I finally have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. I need NBA Courtside, and I also picked up Top Gear Rally, which is a rally game, which you don't see much anymore. Uh, during the PlayStation One and sixty four games, uh, even the Super Nintendo, there there were a lot of rally games, uh, but they've become extinct with the newer generation. At least here in America, I don't know if in Europe it's the same thing. Um, for the 3DS, I picked up Mario Kart 7. So now my Mario Kart collection is complete. 
Uh, I have every single Mario Kart from the Super Nintendo upwards to the Wii U game. So that was pretty cool. And I picked up uh, Paper Mario uh, Sticker Star. Uh, this is not the best Paper Mario game. Uh, ever since the Wii U, the Wii version, they've kind of removed the RPG elements that made this game series so cool. Uh, but they're good. They recently announced that they're going to release a Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi crossover. Uh, so that was going to be pretty cool because uh, at least the Mario and Luigi series still has RPG elements. So uh, it's going to be cool to to see them combine that series with the Paper Mario series. So that one. I'm also looking forward to because it, it's gonna it's gonna rock. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, gave my GameCube some loving with Tony Hawk's Underground Two. Uh, this was a little bit before the Tony Hawk series started not being so cool. Uh, Pro Skater Four was pretty cool, but then they did Underground Underground Two and American Wasteland. Uh, those were not so cool. Uh, that's when the series really started. Uh, to dive into mediocrity. Uh, picked up uh, the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom is, is a better game than this. Uh, this is just a movie cash-in, but it's the GameCube, so I wanted to give it some love. And I finally was able to get from uh, my wife's cousin in Mexicali uh, a copy of Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Uh, I've seen this on the PlayStation 2, uh, but I've, I, I always prefer to get, uh, when it's a multi-platform thing, I, I try to get it on the, on the Nintendo platform. So, of course, the GameCube was the one where this thing released. And uh, I finally, thanks to my wife's cousin, was able to get a Dragon Ball Z Saga. So, very happy about that. Uh, these are GameStop and the Target. I uh, picked up Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. Uh, this is a sequel to the Tales of Symphonia game that released on the GameCube. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, which uh, really sucks, because I, I like, when possible, collecting uh, complete games, especially if they're RPGs, but most modern games don't have a manual anyway, so uh, unfortunately it is what it is, but uh, looking forward to clocking in some hours at this, because the GameCube Tales of Symphonia uh, it's pretty awesome, so I want to see how that continues. Uh, there's, of course, a, a compilation of that on the PlayStation 3 that has uh, Tales of Symphonia 1 and Dawn of the New World uh, in HD, but I haven't seen that one. And the target, I picked up uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Still sealed, haven't, haven't played it, haven't really researched that one. Uh, at GameStop, I picked up Alien Syndrome for 3 bucks. Uh, it looks like a shooter game uh, similar to Contra, but I I have I remember uh, hearing reviews on this that it's not as cool as that unfortunately. But it was three bucks, and for one dollar I picked up Blazing Angels uh, Squadrons of World War II, uh, developed by Ubisoft, and it's a plane shooting game. The graphics look pretty cool, but I haven't actually had a chance to pop it in. Uh, lastly, I'm going to talk about uh, PlayStation 3 games that I picked up at, block, uh, at Blockbuster at uh, GameStop. Because uh, two times I've gone to GameStop, they had, they've had they had this sale that you can pick up uh, four games for 20 bucks, and then they had a uh, buy three, pay two uh, sale. So I, I, I picked up some really cheap uh, PlayStation 3 games. First one is Assassin's Creed 2. Unfortunately, uh, no manual, which sucks, but uh, I needed this. I, I, I don't want to connect all the Assassin's Creed's game, but I do want to uh, get the ones that are numbered. So now I'm only missing Black Flag, which I'm going to get, uh, I want to get for the Wii U. Uh, picked up Hellboy, The Science of Evil. Uh, love the two Hellboy movies. Uh, I think they are amazing movies. And uh, Konami... Uh, released this game. Um, I remember it having really bad reviews, but it's Hellboy and it's Konami, so I, I picked it up. Picked up Resident Evil 5. Uh, I know there's a better version, Resident, the Resident Evil Gold Edition, that has a whole bunch of downloadable content, content and other stuff, but uh, this was part of that sale that you can get four games for 20 bucks, so I picked it up. 
Uh, the other one was part of that sale was Red Dead Redemption. I know there's also a Game of the Year edition, but this one was dirt cheap, thanks to that sale. And I want to clock in some time into this one, and I want to buy the uh, zombie pack. There's a standalone zombie pack that I want to get, and I've seen the cheap at, at GameStop. And uh, picked up uh, Dragon's Dogma. I remember Angry Joe doing a review on this, and he said it was super amazing, so I picked it up. And the last two that were part of that buy three gets one free was a Heavy Rain. Unfortunately, this is the Greatest Hits edition. I'm not a fan of these red boxes, but uh, it's the only copy they had at, at GameStop. So I, I wanted Heavy Rain for a while, and uh, if I didn't take advantage of the sale, I was never going to get it. So I picked it up, even though it's, it's Greatest Hits. Then I picked up uh, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. Uh, this is, uh, I don't really remember why it happened, but the company that makes the Gilded Gear games lost the license, so they released Blaze Blue. It's like Guilty Gear, but, uh, with new characters, but the, the battle mechanics are the same. Uh, I read online that they have since gotten back the rights to Guilty Gear, and the last Guilty Gear that they released was amazing. Uh, I've seen a little bit of gameplay, it looks incredible. But I was still trying to track down a copy of Blaze Blue, and I'm super happy that I have. And the last game I picked up is Battlefield 3. Um, again, it was dirt cheap. It was like two, three bucks maybe. Um, a, f a friend of mine says that he swears that Battlefield is way better than Call of Duty. So I picked this one up, and I'll give it a shot. So yeah, that was the uh, stuff in video game pickup videos. Uh, like always, I like to make the recommendation of the haul. And uh, what little I have played, I'm going to recommend uh, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. It's a good RPG series, and it's a sequel to the one on the GameCube. So I, I'll definitely recommend that. And the one that I've been talking in a lot of hours is Mario Kart 7. Even though I think Mario Kart 8 is the superior one. Uh, this one, to unlock the characters in this one, you have to play the 150, uh, 150 class, and you have to, you know, get in first place, and that's really hard. Whereas Mario Kart 8, uh, the way you unlock characters is a lot more, uh, user-friendly, so, but, uh, I needed this to complete my set, so, so, yeah. Okay, so, uh, right now I'm gonna record, uh, comic books, uh, and I'll come back with you guys. Uh, to talk about some other stuff I've picked up and movies because I got um, I got a bunch of movies. So until then, uh, thanks so much for watching. This is Vargas XX78 thanking you and signing out.